This is Fratinelli Films. 911, what is your emergency? My porcelain dolls, they're left in shambles. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me guess, they were in your mailbox, ma'am? Samson, never inform me of an uh-oh over my intercom. This intercom is strictly for neutral or positive information. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, get in here! Jefferson, sir, I've just received some disturbing information. A bit of an uh-oh. Your brother's doing an investigative piece on the Wapak mailbox bandit. What? Apparently they have leads. Leads? From whomst? That is the extent of the information I have at this time. Grab my coat! You're writing a story about the mailbox bandit. You. Your little paper, with your little human interest stories, with your little desk, and your little window, and your little tie, and your little hands. You have little hands! My hands are normal. Little. Jefferson, this town is gripped with fear. Someone is going around town bashing mailboxes. Children are afraid to come outside. And you're gonna be the one to break the story open. <laughs> you're gonna beat us. The Wapakoneta Daily Gazette. <laughs> Every story runs through us. We are the truth. We are gods. Huh. We may not look like much to you. Just white-knuckled newsmen trying to tell the honest stories of this community and doing so on a weekly basis. But take Debbie, for example. Debbie was valedictorian of Wapakoneta Regional High School. Straight B pluses. Our editor, Harold, he doesn't find a stray cat he won't take into his home. And Jennifer, our news writer, kindly helps Harold clean up all that cat piss. These people care, right? They're honest. All you care about is breaking the next story, whether or not there's a lick of truth to it. Dad would be ashamed of what you've done with the family paper. Don't you dare invoke Daddy's name. Daddy is secret. Mark my words, Slinkin' Pennyweather. Your baby brother is going to beat your eensy-weensy weekly newsletter into the ground. We are going to be heroes. Legends. <laughs> Gods. Get the sweet heck out of my face before I act out of character. You want to go? Yeah, I want to go. You want to go? Yeah, I want to go. You sure you want to go? I'm literally dying to go. Right now, let's go. Sir, we should go. Yeah, okay. Let's go. You want to go? You, you, you want to go? Sir, we should go. Okay, let's go. You want to go? You, you, you want to go? Sir, we should go. Okay. Jefferson, might I suggest that you cool down? It's just Lincoln. It's nice. Everybody loves him. Truly a noble individual. And it pisses me off! Okay, Debbie, what are the leads? Victims. These people lost their mailboxes and they all have a story to tell. But they're afraid. Wapakoneta was known as the safest town in western Ohio, with no major crimes committed since 1945. The police are struggling to deal with the investigation. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know who's doing it, like, um, at all, which kind of sucks. Wapakoneta Daily Gazette reporter Samson Ford weighed in. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing an interview for television. I'm print media, <laughs> Go off. Wait, is this live? Primo Valentino, 
His mailbox was beaten within an inch of its life with a baseball bat. Wooden shots all over the lawn. Carnage. Like the war. You play softball? The mailboxes were struck with a bat just like that one. You did it, didn't you? You hate the mail and you always have. The institution of the parcel service bothers you to no end. Hey, get away from him. You have no leads, nothing to go on. Everybody keeps asking me that. I don't know, I have no idea. What about the victims? Where's the list of victims? Yeah, yeah, I gave that to your brother. Didn't you make a copy? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, no. Damn it, Jim! I'm sorry! You think my dad will be proud of me? I never met him. Yeah. You think he'd be proud, though? I'm sure. You're doing great, Lincoln. Hey, maybe after this we should check out the sporting goods store. Absolutely. Great idea. Because of the bats. Yes, because of the bats. Here you go, folks. Thank you, Mrs. Jennings. Now, I know this must be very difficult to discuss, but can you think of any reason someone would want to bash your mailbox with a bat? Heavens, no. I try to be a great friend to the community. I volunteer at the church. I bake cookies for the boys at the fire department. I bake cookies for the PTA meetings. Big cookies, little cookies. Cookies inside of cookies. I don't know why anyone would do this to me. <laughs> Absolutely. And the community appreciates all of that very much. Yes, cookies are the best. Uh, Ms. Jennings, would you happen to still have the mailbox by any chance? Let me grab that for you. Cookies are amazing. Gimme. Mm. There's some wood chips in there that must have fallen off the bat. Such unspeakable violence. Out of this neighborhood. I never even got a visit from the police. Bottom stock sporting goods? Debbie, great hunch. I'm promoting you to deputy editor after this. Really, superb work so far. Miss Jennings, may I use your telephone? Bottom Stock Sporting Goods, the number one sporting goods store in Wapakoneta. How may I help you? Hey, yeah, it's Link. Link, holy cow, what's up, man? You see the Buckeyes Saturday? <clears throat> hey, when are you gonna do one of them articles on me? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Hey, listen. Uh, you sell baseball bats, right? We sell volleyballs, footballs, tennis balls, tennis rackets, golf balls. We don't sell golf clubs, but we do sell baseball gloves, hockey gloves. Bats? Do you sell baseball bats? Oh, yeah, of course. Do you keep a ledger or a record of any kind for your customers and their purchases? Sure, yeah. Uh, baseball season's kind of winding down here. It's only a few names. Let me see. We got Samuel Tyler, Charles Pace, Haywood Floyd, Samson Ford. Hold on, did you say Samson Ford? Sure did. Thanks. We'll be right over. Hey, when are you gonna do one of them articles? What? What a mess. I yelled at a kid today. I accused him of hating mail. Everyone's a suspect. You had no choice. Do you think my daddy would be ashamed of me? Of all this? Did he yell at kids and police officers? I mean... No. Never yelled at anyone. He was a saint, cool as a linoleum countertop, brazen, yet even keeled. Kind of like Lincoln. Lincoln! Sure, we'll be right there. Grab my cup. We gotta go. What a 
don't you guys have a seat? Well, you've come across some disturbing information. An uh-oh. It appears that Samson here purchased baseball bats from bottom stock sporting goods within the last 30 days. The very same baseball bats used in the Wapak Mailbox Bandit Crime Spree. What? No, 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 no. I've never even been to bottom stock sporting goods. I swear, why would I go clubbing mailboxes? It's a federal crime, which nobody here is addressing, by the way. How could you do this? And to lie to me like this? This is your name, is it not? I've worked for the Gazette for 20 years. I work for your father. I am loyal even when you're acting like a fucking moron. How dare you accuse me of this? You're going to federal prison, Samson. You know what they do to people in federal prison? Feed them, house them, give them recreation time, maybe hit the weights a little. But the beds aren't comfortable at all. Hard as a rock. Stop. Samson didn't do it. It was me. What? I thought we could get ahead of the biggest story Wapakoneta had ever seen. Break the big one. Be heroes. Wapakoneta Weekly finally on top. The way Jefferson talks to you, Lincoln, the things he says about the size of your hands, it's just not right. I had to do something to take down the Gazette. So you decided to try to destroy my life. You were an easy target. The quiet henchman reporter in a town like this? A scandal of this magnitude would topple the whole paper. Stop! I did it. Well, I didn't actually do it, but it's my fault. Debbie, you have some real problems. Or maybe some really big problems. And I think we should address that later. But I have problems too. Lincoln? pushed you out of the family paper. And I did everything to keep you down. I come into your office and I insult your hands and it's not because I think your hands are small. It's because I'm small. I can't be daddy. You're daddy. Well, you're not actually daddy, obviously. Um, but you're the man of the people and the natural leader that he always was. and. I saw that, and I reacted badly, and I made this, this whole enterprise into something so toxic. I inadvertently made Debbie smash some mailboxes just to stop me from winning a fight that I started. Well, just to be clear, I acted on my own volition. I have agency. You didn't make me do anything. Debbie, I'm apologizing and absolving you of your crimes. Just enjoy it. Okay, but I could still go to jail. Whatever. We'll donate a bunch of money and make a mailbox fund or something or whatever, and people will forget about it. Or you know, it's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. Whatever. What's important is that we move on, Lincoln. You really don't think my hands are small? They're normal hands totally the right scale for your body. And you really think I'm like Dad? I do. And I can't do this anymore without you. That's all you had to say. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I love you, brother. I love you too, man. Oh, you're so warm. Yeah. What the fuck, Daddy? Oh, shut up, you're fine. Let's go deliver papers together. Oh, let's deliver to people who don't even subscribe. Yeah. Just like we used to. Oh my God. <laughs> After two weeks, a sense of calm has finally returned to the Wapakoneta community as the mailbox bandit's senseless crime suddenly subsided. Thanks to a substantial bit of philanthropy by Wapak's newly merged Weekly Gazette, mailboxes and peace have been restored to the community. The police said this in an official statement. Yeah, so like the thing that was worrying everybody so much has stopped. 
and that's great. And also, I had lost my gun, and I found it also good. From everybody at Wapak News 5, rest easy and good night. This is Fraternale Films.